When you walk around the industrial process plant, you can see the thermal insulation, installed everywhere. The piping, vessels, heat exchangers, and tanks, of an oil refinery, chemical, or petrochemical plant, are insulated to perform one or more of these functions. For cold insulation work, the insulation materials can resist temperature up to minus 270 degrees Celsius, and for hot work, the temperature resistance can go up to 1200 degrees Celsius. Various types of insulation materials are used to resist these temperature ranges. The insulation type indicates the composition and the internal structures a thermal insulation material has. The fibrous insulations are composed of stone or recycled glass, which undergoes a process of melting to create small diameter fibers. The insulation materials made of the fibers create a fibrous structure. The fibrous insulations are mostly used for hot insulation work, but are also suited to use for acoustic work. Fiberglass and mineral wool are the two popular names of the fibrous insulation materials, in which the most used insulation material for the industry is mineral wool. Cellular insulations are composed of small individual cells, separated from each other. One of the examples of cellular insulation is foam glass, which is made of recycled glass. The recycled glass undergoes the melting process, and creates the cellular structure of the insulation. Other names of the cellular insulation materials are, polyurethane and polyisocyanurate. The cellular insulation materials are mostly used for cold insulation work, but can also be used for hot work, and are usually recommended to use for industry. The granular insulation materials are made of small nodules which creates a granulated structure of the insulation. Calcium silicate and perlite are the two popular granular insulation materials used in the industry. Perlite insulation is usually used for both hot and cold work, however, the calcium silicate insulation is only used for hot work. Additives, such as, binder, oil, or reinforcement may also be added in the insulation while manufacturing, to improve its mechanical or chemical properties. Being an insulation inspector, you must always refer to the insulation materials product datasheet, and the project insulation specification to understand the temperature limitations and the specified insulation material type to be used for the project. Also, if you found this video useful, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to IOG's international YouTube channel for more valuable videos. You can also visit the Institute's website to know more about the training and certification courses offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector, IOGS.